Here inside Fish Famous John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Gonna be an absolutely great day to be out here on the water. Also, we've got Final Friday going on tonight. So we got free food, free drinks, and so much more going on here inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. So hopefully we'll see you out here tonight for Final Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. But we're gonna tell you a little bit about what's going on fishing and weather-wise. Talk to you a little bit about all the great things going on inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina too as the hub charter boat heads out as our friendly fisherman heads out there on its five hour half day we've got lots of later trips going on today too tomorrow we've got a afternoon half day with a super light load on it plus we have our 12 hour night mangrove snapper trip going out tonight on this full moon to crush lots of big mangrove snappers so some great fishing opportunities tons of dolphin trips island trips shelling and so much more going on here inside fish famous john's pass at hubbard's marina and we're excited to hopefully have you join us keep in mind as well saturday mornings 6 a.m to 8 a.m we have our real animals radio show sunday night we've got our live stream show where you get a chance to win $1,500 in absolutely free trips. All you have to do is tune in and join us. So hopefully we'll see you Sunday night for that live stream show as well. Keep in mind, as far as fishing goes, we're seeing a lot of nice hogfish right now near shore. The hogfish bite has been fired up lately and we're seeing a lot of big lane snapper Plus, you got a chance for some of those big red grouper. The hub, the private charter boat that just went out behind me, caught a 30-inch red grouper recently fishing in that deeper nearshore area. And uh, we've been catching a handful of them in that deeper nearshore area on the hub. You got a chance for them on the 10-hour, but really the 10-hour has been dialed in on the hogfish lanes. You got a shot for the red grouper, but we're not seeing a ton of them on uh, the, the party boats. But the charter boat, the hub, the 10 hour on the hub has definitely been doing pretty darn good on those red grouper and lots of chances for those hogfish. Yesterday's five hour half day caught 10 keeper hogfish, believe it or not, on the five hour plus a keeper red grouper. So you can see fishing is going well. Plus it should only get better. Fishing should be real, real good today and super hot tomorrow. The reason fishing's so good tomorrow, because we have a little cold front coming in Sunday and that little cold front Sunday should have those fish super pumped up and excited uh, today and especially tomorrow because as that front approaches, the fish know, they sense the bad weather's coming and they sense they're not gonna be able to feed as easily. So they get super pumped up and they feed a little bit more actively ahead of those fronts. So we're expecting the fishing uh, to be great Saturday because those fish are gonna be aggressively feeding, trying to fill up ahead of that bad weather. Then the front comes through Sunday. It's gonna be a little bit more nautical Sunday and into Monday, gonna chill out a little bit, get a little cold for us here into the mid to low 60s. And then uh, it's gonna slowly warm back up and the fishing should be pretty darn hot there. I would say Tuesday is gonna be pretty good, but Wednesday should be real good. Behind that front, weather's gonna calm down, things normalize, water has a chance to calm down and clear up. Fishing should be hot by midweek next week. And it looks like we have a nice long stretch of a good weather window next week too. But we don't wanna to look too far ahead this time of year as things can definitely shift and weather can change pretty quickly. So we're not gonna to look too far in advance, but right now it's definitely looking like the best fishing is today, tomorrow, and then probably Wednesday. While Tuesday is looking okay, and then the rest of next week look pretty good as well, but we'll know more as time progresses. Sunday, Monday, not the best days to go fishing due to that wind and weather, but not too bumpy to get out there and go dolphin watching or head out to the island and that little bit of cool down will be nice plus the rough weather brings fresh shells we see a lot of sand dollars sharks teeth behind that weather so good opportunities to get out there to the island and do some shelling hopefully we'll see you tonight for final friday again 6 to 9 p.m don't forget sunday night 7 30 p.m for our live stream show and don't forget if you're too busy to go fishing you're just too darn busy. Happy Friday, y'all. Thanks for watching.